Hi, I think you guys still have issues with retinoin and Dinesh specially asked me to make a short video about how beginners can use this magical cream right here. Here I'm only gonna talk about how beginners can introduce retinoin in their skincare routine. So I'm using retinoin for more than I think six or seven, I think it's my seventh month I'm using retinoin and uh, Honestly speaking, I didn't have such issues that uh, need retinoin cream to be very honest like acne, scars, hyperpigmentation. I didn't have any of this. The only reason I am using this on my face because I don't want to age at all. <laughs> okay, I like my fantasy is vampires and yeah, you know, you know these things if you are a fantasy girl just like me. And I basically don't want to age when I'm in my like 40s and like 50s. I know aging is the most natural thing and your aging, this equally means that you have gathered so many experiences, so many events and I know these things are so sweet and cute but again, I don't want to age. I don't want to age at all. So that is the main reason I discovered tretinoin and I'm using it on my face. And if, if, I, if I tell you honestly, I don't see like major difference on my face. If you are, if you want to use tretinoin uh, because you have acne and you have hyperpigmentation and you have scars, then please watch someone else's video who has like same issues as yours. I'm only going to talk about how beginners can use this and uh, like how miraculous product this is and yeah first of all if you want to use this and you have never consulted a dermatologist i will highly like insist you to consult one because i'm no dermatologist and i basically basically if you have skin concerns then please visit someone like uh, who is really gonna like uh, take care of your skin and who knows what is the like what is wrong with your skin i'll recommend don't take uh, solutions from online influencers like for me if you have serious skin issues then please 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 visit your like dermatologist and like consult a dermatologist like yeah like this is the like fastest way you can get rid of your skin concerns when first i got this i used to use it like a leave-in method like apply this and wait, wait for 20 minutes and then wash it off but this technique didn't work for me sadly so right now i think if you are a beginner and it doesn't matter what skin type you have sandwich method is best option for you sandwich method basically means you're applying retinoin between two moisturizing layers and that will ensure less irritation no skin peeling at all if i talk a little bit about my irritation journey so when i used to use it as a leave-in method uh, my uh, nose especially here i used to see like peeling skin peeling and i've never seen skin peeling on my face ever not even in severe winters like i'm telling you so yeah, i was worried so yeah that, uh, then i thought yeah leave-in technique might not be the best option for me then i used to use it as a sandwich method and on my third or fourth application i saw purging but after my fourth fourth or fifth application there was no purging no such purging at all i've i've like uh, recorded all my experience in my previous videos i'll link it in the i button and as well as in the description box you can check this like check that video out if you're a beginner and you want to try retinoin please just put so many soothing moisturizing calming ingredients on your face like sika hyaluronic acid nail mucin green tea like use soothing toners and of course you need to have like a proper skincare routine and even in the next morning and like every day you have to use a sunscreen because retinoin is a mild exfoliant it kind of gently removes the dead skin layer from your face so you have to use sunscreen next morning and like every day every single day twice a day if you are indoors first you have to use a cleansing oil if you are a boy if you're a girl if you apply makeup if you don't I don't care like you have to use a cleansing oil or like you Use a like face wash that will ensure your face is thoroughly clean or you can use micellar waters too if you cannot like get your hands on cleansing oils but currently cleansing oils are like really cheap in India too you can use the conscious chemist cleansing oil or you can use uh, the plum cleansing oil I personally love DHC cleansing oil like it is my heart so I use mostly my DHC cleansing oil uh, when I am using retinoin cream because the DHC cleansing oil ensures that your skin is like there's nothing on your face no nothing at all then your second step is to use a water-based cleanser try to use a gentle cleanser like gentlest gentle sort of cleanser you can use simple cleanser or you can use the joy ph 5.5 cleanser i mostly use joy ph 5.5 cleanser because yeah it is my thing right now don't use active based cleansers like salicylic acid based uh, face wash or glycolic acid based face wash like 
you don't use other actives on same day if you are a beginner obviously then third go with a soothing toner personally i only use this keep cool and soothe toner uh, i only use it with my pretinoin days my skin just cannot survive if i don't use this toner this one is underrated and this one needs your attention this is so soothing so calming like even like for summers too and it is so lightweight it is non-sticky but it is soothing like it is 85% uh, uh, bamboo water but it is extremely soothing second option is to go with this essence this is a hydrating thing and it basically plumps my skin I either go with this nail mucin no not either like I mostly use this and you know I try to use this with this body wise snail mucin too but there's a thing this more body wise like snail mucin serum it is not hydrating like it is 10% hydrating whereas it is 90% maybe 100 percent so i think uh, if you if you if you are using pretinoin then like go with the snail mucin serum like this technique works for me but again skincare is subjective i know but here i'm talking about my experience and yeah i don't like to use this but i i, I only like uh, go with this when i'm using tretinoin. you know what most of the times i use this is the most important step if you are using tretinoin just please 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 use peptide based serum i love this multi peptide serum uh, it is from minimalist and i think i finished it mostly yeah i've finished more than half of it already i like uh, the moment i use this with my tretinoin cream my skin was plumped glowing hydrated the next day i know retinoin over time uh, does these things too but if you want instant like effect instant like glow and like plumpness you you have to go with her i uh, i don't know the, the the user like i forgot her name she she said that this minimalist peptide it it contains like bio placenta and it basically cancerous but I feel like uh, they are here formulating something that is skincare safe and minimalist as a brand. They formulate skincare science based skincare like ingredients. Yeah, blah, blah. But <laughs> I don't know much information regarding bio placenta. But uh, the, the articles I've read, it is basically saying it is good for our skin. But yeah, again, skincare is subjective. So um, where I was here, if you are using tretinoin cream, please just go with her. I just cannot move without this, you know, like this and this like these are like must necessary things in my uh, tretinoin skincare routine <laughs> then i go with two layers of moisturizer i use ceramide based moisturizer as they keep the barrier of our skin safe and when you're using tretinoin uh, most of the times your skin get irritated and your barrier gets compromised if you're not hydrating your skin well you can also use hyaluronic acid but i think multipeptide serum is more than good for me like more than enough for me i tend to switch my moisturizers between these things uh, you know what my mood wants that <laughs> this is my first moisturizer this is minimalist vitamin b5 10 percent moisturizer god if you haven't tried this one out you're missing something from your life like if you are into skincare try her try this try this at least once and you're gonna thank me and my second moisturizer depends on this I tried to use this with this conscious chemist snail magic cream hate the experience hate it this this shit foams here I don't like the foamingness okay I mostly use it in the daytime I don't like this to be very honest I, I, I somehow like this uh, and I also like this that it is the first Indian skincare cream uh, like snail mucin cream again it has only 10% snail mucin uh, you can like uh, simply not buy this you know yeah then I used to use this with my Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This cream is so calming, so good. But the only con is that it is hella expensive, hella. So if you cannot get your hands on this, like this is this is the gem, okay? The, the, and the color and everything. And it's a bluish color. Eh? This color is something like you, you, your skin will crave for this moisturizer. Like I'm telling you, if you use it once in your skincare routine. But again, the price is too much. I think this one retails for 1800 almost. And it is the calming and soothingest cream that I have used on my face. Like seriously, super soothing. Mostly, I use this minimalist uh, ceramide moisturizer as my second moisturizer. Uh, or sometimes this hyper moisturizer. This moisturizer has fragrance but I I don't know why but the sensation and like this one is for oily skin. It has ceramides, peptides, squalene, oatmeal extracts. This one is so good and when I use it with my Dragnoin, I don't see any difference like yeah like no purging, nothing, no irritation. I love this moisturizer. I don't know why people are like criticizing Criticanon's brand 
maybe uh, the sunscreen is super bad but there is this moisturizer this one is really good so if you're into budget then go with this minimalist ceramide moisturizer or this hyphen ceramide moisturizer you can also use this minimalist vitamin b5 moisturizer as your second moisturizer but i need something rich emollient based moisturizer you know when the weather is dry i i i most of the times go with this bioderma sensibio defense rich active soothing cream this cream is also soothing when the weather is dry and like my skin is feeling tight and like you you know the sensations when your skin needs extra moisture on those days i use this bioderma sensi bio active soothing cream this one is so soothing i think i'm almost gonna finish this and it is so rich emollient based moisturizer you just need a tiniest amount like i'm i'm just showing you you just need maybe this much is enough for your face it is so soothing and like so rich in formulation so i thought this video is gonna be short but uh, it is long Yeah that's it if you are a beginner then uh, use this technique and i'm sure your skin is going to love this if you are tight on budget then uh, try to buy these things over time like slowly save your money and then buy these things if you are a student if you don't want to you can surely miss this but just do not miss this peptide serum this minimalist b5 moisturizer and like some soothing toners if you cannot get your hands on soothing toners then at least like grab this too and like this three as your combo if you are a beginner but i don't know your skin type i don't know who is going to uh, follow this routine maybe your skin is going to feel tight i don't know but i think if you are a beginner and if you have combination to normal to like oily skin i think this routine is going to be enough for you and again do not forget to use sunscreen if you are going with retinoid please you have to use sunscreen or your skin is going to be dead for for serious yeah That's it. If you like this video, don't forget to like this video. Share this video if you want to, and if you have any more queries, then please let me know. And yeah, bye.